Hey, this is Presh Talwalker. In front of you are three boxes. One box contains only apples, another box contains only oranges, and the last contains both apples and oranges. The first box has the label apples, the second has the label oranges, and the third has the label apples and oranges. But unfortunately, all of the labels are wrong and you have to fix them so each box has the correct label. You cannot see inside the boxes, but you can ask for a sample from any box. You point to a box and you get a random fruit from that box. What is the minimum number of samples you need to label all of the boxes correctly? Answer wisely, because this has been asked as a job interview question. Can you figure it out? Give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for the solution. Many people think you need several samples to label all of the boxes correctly. After all, if you get an apple, it could have come from the box with only apples, or it could have come from the box with both apples and oranges. But in this problem, you know all of the boxes are labeled incorrectly. This allows you to solve the problem using just one sample. The key is that you should ask for a sample from the box labeled apples and oranges. Suppose you get an apple. Now the box could contain both apples and oranges or it could contain only apples. The key is that you know the label of apples and oranges is wrong. Therefore, this box must contain only apples. You can put the correct label on this box. Now we can label the rest of the boxes correctly. We should next consider the box that's labeled oranges. This box could have only oranges, or it could have both apples and oranges. We've already used the label for apples, so that label cannot be used. So which of these two remaining labels could the box be? Since the label of oranges is wrong, that leaves us the only choice that this box should have the label of both apples and oranges. That means the final box can only have one possible label, which is that it contains only oranges. So just by getting the one sample, we could correctly label all of the boxes. Now I've gone through the case where you would get an apple from your sample. What would happen if instead you got an orange? Well, the logic would be similar. The box that's labeled apples and oranges must have a wrong label, therefore the correct label would be oranges. You then consider the box that's labeled apples. You can reduce by process of elimination that this must contain both apples and oranges, and the final box must have the final label. So you can figure out all of the labels just by taking a sample from the correct box. So there's another way to understand the solution it's to consider the different ways to label the three boxes. Notice the first box can have one of three labels. For each of those labels, there are two possible labels that are remaining for the second box. The final box must have the last label that you didn't use. So in this manner, we can go through and enumerate all the different ways to label the three boxes. As there are three choices for the first label, two remaining choices for the second box, and only one label remaining for the third box, there are three times two times one, or three factorial, which equals six possible ways to label the boxes. There are six permutations. Now we need to exclude any of the enumerations in which the label matches the label on the box. We know that the box has an incorrect label. So for example, 
the label of apples has to be wrong, so we know that these first two rows could not be the correct labeling. Similarly, we go through the other rows in which the other labels would match what's written on the box. So we can eliminate any row in which one of the labels matches the label that's written on the box. So we can eliminate the first and second rows, we can then eliminate the third row, and we can eliminate the final row. This leaves two ways in which all of the labels are wrong. A permutation in which all of the elements are in the wrong spot is known as a derangement. There are two possible derangements. Now how do we identify which of the two cases we're in? What we do is we ask for a sample from the box that's labeled apples and oranges. We know that the box that's labeled apples and oranges has to contain only one fruit. Once we figure out what that fruit is, we can identify which of these two cases we're in and we can label all of the boxes correctly. Did you figure it out? Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math and game theory. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, which you can follow on Facebook, Google Plus, and Patreon. You can catch me on social media at Presh Tallwalker. And if you like this video, please check out my books. There are links in the video description.